What's up guys, my name is Andrew, also known as Wendy the Maker, and this is Upcycled. I'm all about DIY fashion and using upcycling to construct or reconstruct garments. Whether it's hopping on new trends or experimenting with new styles, there's nothing more satisfying than creating your own piece of clothing that nobody else has. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking an old quilt and turning it into a hoodie. It's gonna be super cozy because it's literally a blanket. So, let's get into it. All right, so first step, we're gonna make our pattern. So I'm gonna take an old hoodie that fits me pretty well, and I'm just gonna lay it out flat on the pattern paper. And I'm gonna take a pencil and trace all the way around. I'm leaving about a half an inch of seam allowance on the sides, but a full inch on the bottom for the hem. So I'm coming up on the armpit area here, and we're gonna wanna trace on this seam for the armhole. And I have a rotary marker to make that a little bit easier for me. So I'm just gonna roll over my hoodie, and it'll leave some marks on the paper that I can trace over. We're gonna do the same thing for the sleeve and hood, and the back part of the hoodie as well. We only have to make one because it'll work for both arms. And on the bottom, I'm making a bigger opening because on this hoodie, there's elastic ribbing. And once I'm getting to the front of the hoodie, I'm going out about an inch and a half for that extra seam allowance to let us fold it in and create a nice and finished look. I'm gonna start by separating the pattern pieces and then cutting them out individually. So once we've got our blanket laid out flat, I'm gonna place my pattern pieces where I want them and then cut it out. We got a front, back, two sleeves, and two hood panels. And this part's optional, but if you wanna add a pocket, it's gonna look something like this. And there's a lot of free patterns you can find online because it is a little bit of an odd shape, but you're just gonna wanna fold in these sides and sew a straight stitch all the way around. Just back stitching to secure that in place. And we're attaching it to the bottom part of the hoodie. I got mine centered, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin it in place. Now we're gonna sew a straight stitch all the way around, except for on these sides here, because that's gonna be the opening for our hand. And now we have our pocket attached. So we're just gonna take the back panel and place it right sides together on top of our front panel. And then I'm gonna pin. And now that we have the front and back ready, I like to go ahead and pin the other pieces so we can sew it all together at once. I'm just gonna use a zigzag stitch on all these seams and leave about a quarter of an inch for seam allowance. And now I'm working on the shoulder part. And this is actually a little bit of a thinner quilt. It may be a little bit more hard to manage with a thicker blanket. So now that we have the body done, we can go ahead and attach the sleeves. You're gonna take the sleeve, turn it back the right way, and then just guide it through the armhole, lining up these two seams, and then I can pin. So now that I have that sleeve pinned, I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew. So before attaching our hood, we just have to fold over this outside edge to give it a more clean look. I'm just gonna do a straight stitch all the way around. We're gonna turn the hoodie back the right way. To attach the hood, we're just gonna lay the body part down with the back facing me and line up this middle seam here with the middle of the neckline. So now that I'm around to this front part, the two pieces should overlap just a little bit like this. And I'm gonna pin that in place. And now we can sew using a zigzag stitch all the way around. As you can see, the hoodie's pretty much done. So we're just gonna turn it inside out again and we can clean up these edges. For the bottom hem, I'm just gonna fold it up about a half an inch. We're gonna do the same for each sleeve. Now that we have those sleeves done, we are finished. Let's go try this on. And here's how it looks. You don't have to use a quilt for this hoodie. You can use any type of blankets, a woven blanket, a fuzzy blanket, literally anything. I like working with all different types of patterns and designs. This one is a plaid vibe, very easy to style with your everyday looks. It's a super cozy hoodie. I mean, it was literally a quilt. So go ahead and grab a blanket and try it yourself. Once again, I'm Wendy the Maker, and I'll catch you back here for the next episode of Upcycled.